Hello, my name's Heather Ledbury and I'm a parent co-investigator on the dolphin trial. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to tell you a little bit about um, my part in the process. Um, I hope it's okay. I'm going to read from my notes just so that I don't go on too long, hopefully. Um, and yes, so I took part in the original dolphin trial with my son Miles, who is now 13 and my husband Mark. Um, we, I think, were the second family to be recruited onto the trial. Um, Miles was born full term um, after a difficult birth at maternity hospital. Uh, after getting stuck with the cord round his neck, um, he required uh, full resuscitation at birth and was then transferred by ambulance to the John Radcliffe Hospital, um, where it was discovered that he had a small area of brain damage. After a very worrying start, he went from strength to strength and thankfully shows no ill effects today, something for which we will be forever grateful. Uh, in those first few days, we were approached by Morag, um, who talked to us about what the dolphin trial would involve. At that point, everything was an unknown for us. Uh, we knew Miles had suffered multiple organ damage, and although he was showing signs of recovering extremely well, no one knew what the outcomes of his brain damage would be. Um, so we were so very grateful for the chance to take part in anything that might help him and also um, other babies and families that were in our position. Uh, we were given great support from the Dolphin team, both in those early days and throughout the initial trial and beyond. We ended up doing, up, doing some follow up research, which Miles thoroughly enjoyed being made to feel really special and important for the day. And he still remembers now, actually, even though I think he was seven, I think, possibly. Um, however, the, the trial itself was hard. Yeah, in those days, we had to give a large amount of supplement per kilo of body weight, and Miles was an enormous baby. Uh, he's five for eight now, age 13, so he clearly knew he needed it. Uh, at one point, I think he went off the top of the percentile chart. Yeah, I think he was on the 101st percentile. Um, I had chosen to breastfeed and um, knew that this would take priority for me over everything. And so to continue with the trial, um, in the early days before solids, it meant feeding miles and then pumping to express milk for the supplement. By the time I'd managed to express enough milk, it was often time to feed him again. And so I very nearly gave up multiple times. And yet I didn't, because I knew that what we were taking part in could potentially have life changing effects for us and for other families. We found a way to make it work and I will always be grateful for the choice to do our absolute best for him. And I'm so delighted um, with the amount of effort that's gone in um, to support breastfeeding families um, in this more, more recent trial. Um, so Miles actually ended up having the placebo, so the supplement itself didn't contribute to his health. Um, and yet I'm in no doubt that the care from the, the dolphin team for him and for all of us was an integral part of his healthy development. Because of this, when I was approached to be a parent co-investigator, I said yes without hesitation. I was and am so grateful for the opportunity to be able to give a small amount back in gratitude for what we received and also in the hope of being able to help other families like ourselves. And I'm really enjoying it. I've always been made to feel extremely welcome. I was initially a bit anxious that I wouldn't be able to contribute anything worthwhile. Although I'm a veterinary nurse by trade, this area of medical knowledge was definitely a step up. However, I've always been made to feel like I'm enough, that sharing my experience is all I have to do. And I'm grateful that the family's input have been and continue to be sought with the feedback. So obviously contributing to the setup and ongoing procedures in the trial. I'm very aware that my experience is only one experience and I try to be aware of not speaking for everyone. And I'm therefore grateful to the Dolphin team for their ongoing conversations and interactions with others who can also share their experiences. Thank you so much to you all.